Today, I'm gonna be building, setting up, and testing over 10 Lego pranks. I'm even gonna be flying to another YouTuber's house to prank him. Ah! Make sure to listen up so that you guys can use these pranks on your mom. Okay, for the first prank, I'm gonna build a mouse trap that can trap someone's finger. I used some rubber bands and some functional pieces to build a system where a shaft can actually snap and grab someone's finger. Okay, here is the finished mouse trap. Now I'm gonna try and wind it up and actually test it out. Hopefully, I don't lose my fingers. Ow! Oh my god! Okay, that hurt more than stubbing your toe on a wall of Lego. So here's me testing it out on a bunch of other Lego items, and only use this at home if the power is really low, otherwise you're gonna give a permanent red scar to your victim. Okay, but for these next few pranks, I'm flying to my friend TD Brick's house across the country to prank him. Last time we met up, we had a giant Lego war, but this time he's not expecting anything. And after sitting next to a crying baby for five hours, I landed. Alright guys, we're here. We're in TD Brick's territory. Could be anywhere. Could be in there. Hi, is this my Uber? What? He's been in the car, sir. This guy kidnapped my Uber driver and he picked me up. Now that he scooped me up, it's time for the first prank. So for the first prank, I'm gonna make him walk on Lego by putting it in his shoes. To do this, I'm using some specialized Lego tape that can tape onto surfaces. So I attach that to the bottom part of his shoes. And next, I gathered the most painful Lego pieces in his collection. All right guys, I secured the mother load. And attach them onto the studs of the tape. Now we just gotta put them both in the shoes. Now I'm slipping them back into his shoes. This is about to give him a permanent tattoo. And putting the shoes back where they were. And now it's time to hopefully get his reaction. Yo, Tyler, can you come down? Just gotta wait till he comes. I kinda wanna get Chipotle. Do you wanna get some? Just don't get beans, you're gonna be farting all night. But just like, get ready. Okay, sure. Ow, what's in this? Oh shoot, what the, what the heck? Why is there Lego pieces in here? They call them Lego shoes for a reason. Here, let, let me try these on here. Try. These are so uncomfortable. Jump! <laughs> Okay, that prank was a straight bucket, but this next one will hopefully be even better. For this prank, I'm gonna make him lift a bit of Lego that's completely bottomless so that the Lego falls on his feet. So I'm going to Target. All right, I'm at the aisle. I'm thinking we're just gonna go with the big ones right here. We gotta get two of these. So I bought the two bins with Tyler's credit card. So now we have something to store the Lego in. And now I'm gonna add a hole into one of them for the Lego to fall out of. I think I'm gonna just punch it and we should get a hole. Three, two, one. There we go, we now have a hole inside the box. Now that we have the bottomless bin that he's gonna hold and the normal bin that I'm gonna hold, I'm taking them right outside his room and filling them up with Lego. But while I'm doing that, he started to get suspicious. Wait, Tyler, what'd you say? I know what you did. What, what am I doing? You're, you're evil, bro. You took two bins and you mixed them together, bro. I already know it. Luckily, guys, he didn't realize what the actual prank was. And now it's time to run the prank. This is gonna be hilarious. Yo, Tyler, I need some help moving some stuff. Oh my goodness. Where? Look at that room. I'm trying to move these two tubs downstairs. Hey, good job, bro. Yo, oh, what the frick? Lift it. Wait, what is this? Wait, dude, just lift it. Bro, what the heck is this? What's what? The prank was genius because not only did the Lego fall out of the bottom, but it went directly for the feet and got some critical hits. Ow! Ow! Ah! Okay, next, another prank you could do is breaking your friend's Lego creation. Definitely don't do this one at home. Tyler was building a massive tower in the backyard, and he planned on destroying it later tonight, but we're gonna speed run that. Yo, Tyler, what are you building? This is huge. Oh, I'm building this giant Lego tower to make my neighbors feel jealous. Awesome, awesome. Little did he know that I was about to smash it, and then I went in with the Bruh. genius plan. Yo, can I get, like, a selfie with the tower? Yeah, 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 go for it. I'm just gonna do it, like, from this side. This thing's, like, double his height. Wait, wait, what are you doing? Wait, what are you doing? It's falling! I spent like five hours Bruh. building that. Definitely don't do this one at home because you might accidentally turn your mom into a pancake. Next, I'm gonna prank him by building a self-destructing Lego house. It's gonna look completely normal, but as soon as he touches it, it's gonna break apart. So using some super weak building connections, I built up a Lego house that's really fragile. He's gonna feel so guilty. No! All right, let's go, we got it on! It might just fall apart by me talking, so I'm gonna go quickly get him and ask him to help me lift the house. Yo, Tyler, can I get help with something? Yeah, what's up? What's I'm up? trying to like move some stuff downstairs so there's like a Lego house in there. Could what, you this one? Yeah. All right. Oh shoot, what is this? What are you doing? Dude, I spent four hours building that. Why are you breaking my house? What kind of illegal building technique did bro use? Okay, so Sacred's been pranking me late. Hey! What I meant to say was, I'm gonna get him back. Here's a minifig, and I'm gonna super glue the head together, then ask Sacred to help me remove it. Um, I can't take this head off. Can you help me take it off? The heck? Wait. You can't get it? I, I think maybe I just pushed it down. Well, I got really an hard. idea, I got an idea. 
So it turns out Tyler started getting revenge for my pranks, so it's time to turn it up a notch. Next, I'm gonna prank him with a super rare LEGO minifigure. LEGO used to sell a series of minifigure blind bags called Series 10 minifigures, where for every 1.2 million packs, there was one pack that had an extremely rare minifigure called Mr. Gold that every LEGO fan would do anything for. If my friend had one, I would probably rob their house. So I found a fake one on the internet that I'm gonna buy and then I snuck it inside a real Series 10 minifigure pack, and I'm gonna open it with him to get his reaction. To make it believable, I bought five packs and told him that I'm filming a second channel video. Alright, I'm here with my favorite Roblox YouTuber, TD Bricks, yeah. and we're gonna be unboxing some minifig packs. So first, we had to open some normal packs. Bro, I love this figure. And here comes Mr. Gold. Oh my gosh. Holy crap! What? This is Mr. Gold, bruh. Wait, what? Nah. No. You got Mr. Gold! What? Are you, no, no, are you actually joking? No, bro, you're, oh my gosh! Wait, you're joking. It's a real Mr. Gold. You're joking! The cheapest one I could find is $3,000. But eventually I had to reveal it to him. I mean, usually like on minifigs, like there's a Lego logo there, but... Let me check this one. Oh shoot. I think he got scammed. I don't know if I got scammed or you got scammed or this is a prank. Dang, wait, did you actually prank me? I put it in. Okay, so for this next prank, I have to be quiet because Sacred's sleeping right now. Basically, I have these giant Lego bricks. Those ones right there. I'm gonna build a giant wall outside of his room so he won't be able to get out of bed. A few moments later. Yo, what the heck? What is this prank? Okay guys, I have an idea. So he moved it. I thought he was gonna knock it down. Like now he's in the bathroom, which is the next door over. So I'm gonna move the wall in front of the bathroom now. A few moments later. Bro, what is this? What the heck? You like, Bro, that, you like that wall? I went to drop a Johnson and then he just puts a wall outside. This is what you get for pranking me. Okay, this is pretty much turned into a prank war. So next, I'm gonna get him by replacing all of his minifigures with plain yellow men. So I moved all of his favorite figures to a separate bin and bought over 100 heads, torsos, and legs in plain yellow so that I can replace them with an army of yellow men. Bro, instead of all of these cool figures, there's gonna be a bunch of shirtless people. It looks like I literally dropped a bucket of paint on all the minifigures. Now that the stand was done, I moved it back to where it originally was, and it looks so much better now. I don't even know how this is a prank. And now, I'm gonna call him into the room to see his reaction. Alright guys, Tyler is about to come upstairs. It's time to get his reaction. Good. Yo, what's up, bro? Bro, why are you recording me? I don't know. I just like... I was filming like... Wait, what is this? What is this? Wait, did you replace these? Wait, what? I, I just spilled a little paint there. I didn't know it did that. Why are they all naked? For this next prank, I'm gonna put Lego on the toilet seat. So let's see how he reacts when he goes to use the bathroom. A few moments later. Oh, he's going. Ah! Okay, next, we went out for some food in the middle of the prank war, and it gave me the idea for another prank of replacing food with Lego Bruh. food. I decided to replace the lemonade in his drink with Lego so that he would only know after taking a sip. So I moved the lemonade to a separate bottle for later. In there. And now I'm grabbing some Lego pieces that I'm dumping inside of the cup. But once I dumped in a bunch of Lego, I finished it off with some trans yellow pieces to match the color of the lemonade. And now I'm gonna return it to the fridge and see his reaction. You got lemonade? I, I want some lemonade. It's just in the fridge. Oh, nice. Yo, thank you, bro. I appreciate it. Wait. Oh, shoot. This, is this Lego? What is this, bro? No. Oh my gosh. It's just this, is, this is Lego, dude. This actually looks real, though. I'm not gonna lie. I need to prank Sacred back. So I built this Lego iPhone with apps like YouTube, TikTok, Spotify. Then I'm gonna put it in an actual box and pretend to give him a new iPhone. I actually really like the way this turned out. A few moments later. I got you a brand new iPhone. Jeez. Oh my God, it's even better than the other phone. We got the new iOS, we got all the apps, Spotify, it has, yeah, it has all the apps YouTube, it has Discord. Let's go! Okay, now everyone is scared of spiders, so I'm gonna build a giant one out of Lego and prank him with it. Yo, bro, I have a surprise. Put your hand out. Okay, open it. Wow, there's a dead spider on my floor now. Look at that. Okay, the prank war has gone on long enough, so now I'm gonna end it once and for all. Tyler was taking a nap on the couch, but earlier he was building with a bunch of jumbo Lego bricks. So I'm using the bricks to build a fort around him so that when he wakes up, he's inside of a Lego prison. He's still sleeping somehow. Surprisingly, he didn't wake up. I finished up the fort and added on a roof. Okay guys, to wake him up, I'm gonna play an alarm. Three, two, one. 
two, one. Did you build this? What is this? Bro, I made you a prison. You can't leave. Why am I in a coffin right now? What is this? Yo, it's actually kind of comfy in here. Not gonna lie. A few moments later. Okay, guys, I'm gonna break him even more. I'm gonna go save my dog. Wait, no, guys. Tyler's gone. <laughs> I didn't mean to do that. Oh! How did you survive? Quiet down a little bit. I'm trying to sleep right now. And that last prank was for you guys. Thank you all so much for watching. Subscribe. Don't actually sit on your friend if he's inside the house. See ya. Oh, did you fart? Oh my god.